Do you need more leverage in your recruitment process? Do you want to lever up? I mean, level up your hiring and applicant tracking workflows. If you haven't caught on already, we're reviewing the applicant tracking system lever today. We have a Josh, our very own senior talent acquisition manager here, and he's going to be walking us through the tool and sharing his own thoughts since he uses it in his own hiring process. And you can thank him for the puns if that's what we're calling them. All right, before I pass things over to Josh, let me just give a quick bit of context on Lever. So this is an applicant tracking system. It's for streamlining your recruiting and hiring process, and it can help you simplify and manage your job postings and your candidate communication. All right, with that, I'm gonna pass things over to Josh and see what he has to say about Lever. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about promoting job openings in Lever. Once we've completed all the information about the posting and the interview plan, um, the role saves as a draft and you have the option by selecting this open button um, to either open, close the job um, and have it as unlisted so that people can't see it within your company um, or out externally as well. Or you can list it and have it listed both on your external and internal job site if you change, if you want to have it just on an internal job site so you only consider internal applications to begin with. Um, or perhaps you don't want people internally to apply to this for whatever reason. Um, yeah, then those options are there. And also being able to have referrals uh, submitted to it at every stage as well. All right, so I'm just going to talk you through some of the group collaboration functionalities uh, within Lever, um, just especially when you're trying to speak to hiring managers and folks like that. On my screen, you can see uh, a test or fake account that we created. One of the main reasons that I use group functionality within Lever is in order to share notes and feedback with hiring managers. And the easiest way to do that is through the notes section. So when you click add note, um, you can either tag the hiring manager, who in this case might be Faye, um, say, this is a great candidate. If you were to add note, um, that message would then go to the hiring manager's email. Um, you can then leave further comments um, and speak to her in this thread. You can also add secret messages and add specific users that can then read those. Maybe you're talking about salary or compensation, um, but that's another good feature and useful feature as well, right? When you're speaking about private information, especially towards the end of the process. Other interesting integrations that you get with Lever and Slack is the fact that you can actually send these messages to Slack hiring channels. Um, so I've already integrated the product designer channel and um, that in Slack will link back to this job uh, and also your comment as well. Um, so then the person can check the, that information out and read more into the candidate. And um, perhaps you want to link in your feedback or add some summary of notes in there as well. Only negative feedback I found for group collaboration is that when you complete a feedback form, uh, there's no way to tag the hiring manager in the feedback form itself can be a little bit frustrating i feel like you're duplicating work sometimes if you add a summary into the feedback form and then into the notes as well and um, but also you can just copy and paste it and then tag them in it too if you wanted to find the integrations section by clicking on settings by selecting your icon in the top right hand corner when you're in lever on the left hand side there's a drop down there you'll find integrations and api brings you to the integrations page yeah, I find the ecosystem's really good. Um, there's a lot of online documentation available, written by Lever, and giving you details about uh, their partners and like, the Lever integration marketplace is well worth checking out before buying the tool if you want to see what they integrate with. And that's publicly available, just Google Lever integrations. You'll also find that there's walkthroughs on each of their partner integrations too, whether that's LinkedIn, Slack, or one of like certain as well, type in certain and Lever integration and Lever has its own page with the walkthrough and step-by-step -step guide on setting that up. I've also found that just looking at the LinkedIn integrations that they have, uh, the Recruiter System Connect has been a relatively new starter for us, um, got introduced I think in the last couple of months um, and has allowed us to now search uh, for candidates within Lever. One of the other good things about the LinkedIn integration is the option to not include Apply Connect. 
Um, LinkedIn Apply, as you might know, is allow someone to apply with their LinkedIn profile on LinkedIn um, without really answering any other additional questions. I imagine there's other companies like us that would rather see a resume and a few questions answered during their application phase, so it's nice not to have to sign up for that. The Slack integration has also been great. This really allows me to move communication out from emails, which for some hiring managers can be challenging, especially if they're getting a lot of uh, like notifications or maybe they're linked with, with certain tools that send updates all the time. Yeah, they, they have so many options for background and reference checks, um, which is, is great, I suppose. Um, in terms of like value add, I don't know if there's much for the user, but obviously they've partnered with a lot of background check providers. And um, same with HRIS, obviously this is really useful if you have one that's integrated here. Yeah, I'd, I've noticed that a few big providers aren't on this list. Um, like work day and things like that. Um, what I would recommend is checking the uh, the online marketplace as well as this list. Um, for whatever reason, this list doesn't always seem to be regularly updated, um, which just means that occasionally there's tools and technologies that are missing from this list and they do actually integrate with them. Not 100% sure why, like it's this, this has led me to a number of different conversations with companies. So um they should really be updating it but that's that's internal e-signature um lever does have like an offer template tool um, but you really need a docusign or adobe sign to be able to run off a con like have things count signed by candidates through it and um, they have to be the paid versions of docusign and adobe sign too considering um it looks like they might be increasing the number of providers that they have for that in the future but that's to be confirmed um, scheduling, very frustrating that they've not included Canonly. Um, I would have loved to have seen that, especially in our early days, like nine months ago when using this tool. Um, however, Lever have made some good improvements to their scheduling tool recently. Lately, they've enabled uh, time zone changes in the invites. So candidates' local time zone is shown when they're scheduling interviews rather than my local time zone, which led to a lot of confusion previously. Um, and they've also added in a like buffer time around interviews. So now I can set up uh, interviews and make sure that there's 15 minutes before and after the call or even an hour before and after if I need it and um, to make sure that times aren't overlapping and have a bit of a break between the interviews too. Yeah, sourcing wise, so many options. Um, it's actually amazing to see how many they've listed here. Great selection of tools. I've used this library to, to review various different companies. Um, but again, I would recommend checking out the integrations library online and um, much more comprehensive list. And they've only recently released like another 10 or 15 integrations that could probably apply, be applied to this list too, uh, but haven't been updated yet. Um, cool. Yeah. Assessments as well. It's all part and parcel. As part of this conversation on the same page, uh, there's also job sports, um, which these integrations have been incredibly useful and have enabled our company, which didn't previously have an applicant tracking system, to really massively increase the number of applicants that we have to any of our positions. And all of these are free as well, which is equally as awesome. LinkedIn is a great example. Um, this will share your jobs on LinkedIn, which is obviously a very popular site for people to look through. Uh, Indeed, very straightforward again, just simply Indeed jobs. The option to also enable or disable the opportunity for people to apply with the Indeed resume has been great for us. We like to see a little bit more personalization and individuality in the applications that we have. And um, so we've decided not to have Indeed resumes enabled to apply um, and, and asking people to provide something they've created themselves. Job target is also awesome. This is a, a very large group of so Zip Recruiter, Monster, Talent. So some of like the older names, uh, or maybe like less contemporary names perhaps in the job board space. But again, very easy to set up. Maybe a little bit more convoluted than Indeed or LinkedIn. I had to um, speak to job target and set up an account with them. And it maybe took like a week or two to actually get the thing in process. But now it's integrated. Any job that I post is automatically pushed out there if I choose to list it on job boards. It's weighted in some categories more than others. Um, a real prime example of this would be like the background and reference checks. It's great to have so many options, but when you've only got three options for scheduling tools, 
and one of them isn't Canonly. That raised some flags with me and has caused some issues over the last nine months. So I'm going to talk about the Leather calendar integration. To find information about the integration, click on settings through your icon in the top right corner. Um, and the first thing you see is this information about how Leather integrates with G Suite or I know it can integrate with other emails as well, like Outlook and things like that too. It really promotes you setting up this integration from the get-go. So when you first install Leather and start using it, you'll find that, yeah, you, you need to integrate uh, your calendar and, and get your email synced in as well. Um, it just means that you can receive a bunch of different notifications, um, get daily reports on candidates coming into the pipeline, um, and then also get notifications and reminders about emails and feedback from power managers and things like that too. One of the great things about Lover's like publicly available documentation is it does include some hints and tips. So I think one of the more useful ones that they've shared um, is related to this, um, where they suggest um, creating a shared calendar for yourself and the company's interviews. Um, so I have recruiter screens still appear in my own calendar but as the only recruiter in the company, if I was putting all the hiring managers' interviews into my calendar as well, um, it would be a total mess. Um, so yeah, we have a separate calendar where uh, all the hiring managers' uh, interviews go through um, and it's, it means that they and the candidates can still see the calendar invites, um, but they're not clogging up anyone like the recruiter's email or anything like that. Lever calls their dashboard page uh, Visual Insights. Um, you can find that up at the top of your screen um, in the bookmarks manager or whatever you want to call it. Um, you've still got the option to go back to legacy reporting. There's a useful bookmarks banner down the side so you can see your saved and custom saved dashboards that you can refer back to. They've handily created quite a large number of prefabricated dashboards as well, um, which you can reference here in the left hand side panel. Here is the candidate explore page. Um, or stat. So in the left-hand side again, um, you can look at various different pages and metrics. This is a great example of why this, like the legacy reporting, is still useful in cases. I think. So you want a quick refresh of how many people um, maybe you like contacted for this role, or that might be might appear in the reach out uh, if you've been sourcing folks. Um, or perhaps like the names of people that are in recruiter screen at the moment and you just need it. Yeah, it's, it's much more like a spreadsheet and you can get access to the names and you can see the ins and outs of what's been happening. And this refreshes almost instantly. So if you're doing like a quick Friday report of your metrics and just need a couple of numbers, this is awesome. So one of the negatives of Visual Insights, which I'll come back to now, um, is that it does take four to six hours for the information on these pages to update and refresh. Um, however, the pages do have much more interesting dashboards and views. I'll share the pipeline dashboard as one example. Um, so it's here. This is just from like a, a, a test role that we created called Product Designer. Like we've, we've got very limited data in there and the information shared is somewhat limited. Um, so, but you can get an idea of what this is about. This is showing me the average time and stage for a lot of candidates, uh, for candidates in each stage. Um, highlighting issues with maybe the hiring manager stage there and um, people are taking too long to move on to the next steps. This is perhaps stage conversions, this is like advanced um, movements. So it shows you a bit of a pass-through rate um, numbers of people going through each stage. Um, yeah, uh, and there's, there's more information at the bottom giving you actual like percentages of people moving ahead, numbers being archived and things like that too. Really useful. The only negative I find is that presenting this is challenging just because half the screen is made up um, of these banners. Um, I can redact some of them to give myself a little bit more room, um, but it's still not the full screen and it's difficult to present the leadership in that respect. Um, I've also found sharing the dashboard is a little bit clunky just simply because the, uh, the only methods to share it with someone is in either a PDF, PNG or JPEG format. I'd love to be able to share the dashboard in like uh, an interactive like setting so that the leadership can click around and play with things themselves if they want to, rather than just looking at a PDF that I've printed out for them. Um, and obviously presenting that is a lot more challenging if you have a number of different PDFs and there's a number of different 
metrics and groupings that you want to speak to. The answer that Lever has for that is like an additional add-on. I'll just go back to the, the main page just now. Um, the main uh, the add-on is called Data Explorer um, and it comes for an additional cost, um, but it gives you the ability to create custom dashboards with like a pretty granular level. So granular level, um, so that you can kind of dive in, uh, build out reports exactly how you want them um, in a very similar way to look at Studio. Um, if you have experience with it and you're comfortable uh, making dashboards and custom dashboards, I'd highly recommend it. It is a bit of a lift if you've never done it before, but the uh, the dashboards and things that you can create are really interesting and provide great insight. When evaluating a tool, it's important to know exactly how long it's going to take you to get the hang of it. So let's take a look at Lever's ease of use. The platform is well designed with insights and dashboards that are super easy to digest. Its menu structures are clear and logical, guiding users naturally through the recruitment process with well-organized menus and a clean interface. New users might need a bit of time to get familiar with all the features, but the learning curve is generally straightforward and easier than many other systems. One other feature that adds to Lever's ease of use is its visual recruiting pipelines, which are both intuitive and customizable. The color coding helps users quickly see the status of candidates and requisitions, making it easier to manage workflows and prioritize tasks. Before we share who should or shouldn't use Lever, let's look at the tool's pros and cons. Looking first at the pros, Lever is great when it comes to outreach functionality. It makes the sourcing and headhunting process a lot easier. Documentation on how to set up integrations and which integrations exist is all publicly available online, meaning you can browse the integrations without needing access to the tool first. And for users, you can set up integrations without needing to contact sales for support. And Lever's insights, visual pipelines, and dashboards are all a joy to navigate through. As for the cons, Lever's integration options might fall short for some as the tool is missing some integrations with big name tools like Calendly. Visual insights take four to six hours to refresh and update, so it can be a bit of an inconvenience. And users have reported challenges with applying email signatures and images. It's also not possible to reschedule an interview with Lever's easy book. You'll have to delete the meeting and book a new one. Okay, so who's the perfect match for Lever? If your company values teamwork in hiring, you're gonna love Lever. It makes it super easy to share candidate profiles, collect feedback and schedule interviews, keeping everyone in the loop and engaged in the process. On the flip side, Lever's full range of features and enterprise level capabilities can be pricey for small businesses or startups that have tight budgets. While it integrates well with many systems, companies without solid IT support also might struggle, especially if they use niche or custom systems. And there you have it, folks. Lever offers a powerful solution for collaborative hiring, but it is essential to weigh its strengths against your specific needs and circumstances to make sure you are getting exactly what you need. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, hit subscribe, and let us know in the comments what tool you want us to review next. We'll see you in the next one.